Okay, we are setting up a VPN connection for an Asus router, RT-AC86U, but this will apply to most Asus routers. The uh, interface is universal and similar. I have upgraded this router to the custom firmware by Merlin, Asus WRT Merlin, so highly advisable to do that because this will give you additional option, especially for the VPN connection to make up uh, for the shortfalls in the original firmware. It will allow you to add these extra features for the DNS and the kill switch. First, we need to go to VPN option and then VPN client. As you can see, this page is empty. You could set up up to five different clients, five different connections for this page. We start up with downloading the configuration file, which is OVPN, open VPN file could have either TCP or UDP. It belongs to individual countries or cities. So you have to select which city you want and download this file and then select it and then upload it. It will populate all these boxes for you. So you don't need to worry about it. As you can see, there is now server name, port, and you can give it also uh, a name in here, uh, VPN TCP London credentials for your VPN connections in here, you use any and password, you have to subscribe to VPN, it's a subscription based obviously to be able to use this uh, connections, uh, this service. Um, up to here, now basically if we apply, it shouldn't take long, then we will be connected to the VPN server, we need to click this tab here as well to force a connection. Um, <clears throat> Once we are connected, it will show the public IP address for the connections in here. As you can see, that's the IP address. Now we can go and check what's the IP address and everything else. We are connected to this server, which is my VPN, not my ISP. And to check for DNS as well, what kind of DNS server we are connected to. It will show a public DNS. It's connected to open DNS. The reason it's connected to open DNS because I have manually set up my DNS servers in the LAN. Go to DHCP server and then go to DNS server setup here. You could type in Google server. You could any other public one, preferably not your, your ISP. This is just a secondary option. Uh, but eventually we are going to override that and connect to the VPN server. For now, it's connecting to this server as a public server in the DNS test. So we are now exposed. Uh, any website that we visit, it will go to this server here. It will ask it for the um, location of that server. Uh, basically, we're telling uh, this server can identify the website that we're visiting, and we don't want that. That's a DNS leak. So to prevent that, what we need to do is we need to go back to VPN and then VPN client and then we'll go down here and set up a tunnel, force internet through a tunnel and set up a policy, policy rules and then it says block routed client if tunnel goes down. Yes, what that means is that if there's a disconnection or communication with the VPN server is interrupted, it will not go to your ISP. It will do that by default. It will leak all your connections, all your website through your ISP connection. So we want to prevent that. And we want to type in here that all the computers, my subnet is 192.168.3.0. That's what you need to type. If your, I, if your IP address is slightly different, just amend it accordingly. This is a VPN. This will include all the computers in the subnet in here. If you want to exclude some computers from being in the VPN, you could type the IP address of the computer in here and select WAN. And if you do that, that computer will be excluded from VPN. It will allow you to use it through your ISP normal way without encryption. Handy, especially if you go to websites that prevent or disallow VPN connection like banking, for example. Okay, so that's now set up for the DNS you need to select accept DNS configuration, ex select exclusive to prevent DNS going through public and use VPN DNS servers. 
So now that's been set up. Click apply. Now, sometimes when you do that, you really need to restart your server, depending on what model and what firmware version. You might need that, you might not. So we'll wait and see. If we can connect straight away, that's fine. If we not, we'll have to restart the whole router. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's connected here straight away. I just put yes here in case if the computer's re or the, the router restart, it will need to be automatically starting. So we select this as a yes. Okay, so it's connected here. If I go to DNS leak test now, let's see what we get. Wow, yeah, so we're getting the data camp limited. That's my VPN server. Uh, this is a DNS that belongs to the VPN connection, no longer showing the public DNS, which is good. No more DNS leak. And if we go to the IP connection, that's I'm still connected to my data camp uh, VPN server, so I am I am uh, successfully connected. Now uh, I want to check. Uh, I've checked the DNS leak is working. We need to check if the kill switch is working. The way to do that is to disable the connection now and see if we can access the internet. If you disable the connection, the computer or the whole router will block any attempt to connect online. And that's what it's supposed to be doing. So if I go here and type anything, let's say homes, you can see spinning, nothing coming on. And that's excellent. That we want is that if we are disconnected, there is no tunnel, there is no communication for some reason, then we don't want to go, to go through the ISP connection. We want to remain anonymous, waiting for the VPN connection to be resumed, reconnected only through that tunnel. Okay, so it's not connecting. Now I'm going to try and to connect it again, see if I can resume the connection. If it does great, if it's not, I might have to restart my router, as I said earlier. Uh, let's see what happened. And it's restarted automatically because we've enabled automatic start and it's connected. And if we go to DNS leak again one more time, uh, it should display only one server that belong or servers that only belong to the VPN, not a public one. And that's my IP address, which also belongs to the VPN. And it seems to be in, in good working order now, preventing uh, connection outside VPN and preventing the public DNS connection all nice and secure and hopefully enjoy that and subscribe thank you